for it, then we have to get out and pray for it. It's got to be the best. What's up guys, Dustin Jackson here with another episode of Shop Talk Tuesday. And I don't know about y'all, but I had an awesome Easter weekend. I mean, the kids were out in the yard, I was chilling on the back deck, drinking a cold one, meat on the grill, and they were rummaging around the yard looking for Easter eggs. Man, it sure was a vibe. I tell you what though, those kids were sure high on life. Maybe it was the sugar, I don't know. Easter is almost as good as Mardi Gras. I mean, those peeps and chocolate bunnies, they're just pure joy in a basket. Man, that's good. But you know, with all this chocolate and candy, my truck looks like it's been through pandemonium. I mean, candy wrappers are everywhere, and while that can be cleaned up easily, it's that bubble gum, chocolate, and all that sticky candy that has me in one sticky situation. I bet my money that many of you are in the same boat. But before I can show you how a professional detail shop cleans up all that mess, I gotta make that kind of mess. So let's go have some fun. So now that all the fun has been had, it's time to get to the nuts and bolts on how we just get all this stuff out of your carpets. We got a few different tools that we're gonna use. So of course our scrub brushes, maybe a plastic razor if we gotta pick some of it out, some few chemicals that'll help dissolve it a little bit quicker. And then of course we got our steamer out and then our shampooer. So we use all of this stuff combined to make sure that we can get this thing out as safe as possible without hurting your carpet and then make it look like it never happened. So the reason we have two sides here is actually we have one side ceramic coated and one side not. And we're running a little experiment for ourselves to see how much easier it is to clean up on ceramic coated versus non-ceramic coated. So we're going to start with the Starburst and we're going to add a solvent in here to help break down those sugars, dissolve the sugar out of it. And then we're going to use the steamer and the extractor to get the food coloring out of the fibers of the carpet. So we'll soften it up with this and then we'll just pluck it out. So man, those Starbursts were really stuck in on this side. But as you can see, we got it all cleaned up. We had to use the steamer a bit more than what we would like to see, but uh, definitely came up and uh, looks great. Can't even tell where the Starbursts were stuck. Let's go check out this ceramic side and just see how hard it is to get it up. Look at this, look at this. Now that really came up easy. And wow, it just pops right up. So as you can see, we really had to dig it up off this carpet on the non-ceramic side, but the ceramic side really done its job. I mean, with a little bit of solvent, these things just loosened right up and popped right off. Of course, we got some cleaning left to do over here, but the results were really amazing on how much easier it was to clean this off the ceramic side versus the non-ceramic. So as you can see, it can definitely be cleaned up from either side, the ceramic or non-ceramic, but it's so much easier on the ceramic side. I tell you, we were pretty impressed. I didn't know what to expect completely, but that ceramic really done its job, really held up great, and we are super impressed with how it held up. Now I'm gonna go to work and I'm gonna clean up all this mess. I'll talk to you after we get done. So as you can see, there was a ton of candy in that carpet and we got the bulk of it out. We used a solvent and a plastic razor to kind of scrape some of it out. On the ceramic side, it sure came out a lot easier, but there's still some sugar and still some dye left in this carpet. So it's time for us to break our extractor out and use some heated water and really suck all that stuff out and get this carpet back to new. Mm -hmm. 
So just like I promised, we got this carpet to its back to new state. Now, I know when you see me extracting, you started to see that color coming through the extractor, and uh, that's the dyes coming back out of the carpet. That's the extractor doing its job. So when we were running that steamer, we were breaking everything down, and some of it kind of seats down in there. So that extractor heats it back up and pulls it back out. And we know that it's back out because when we go the other way, the water's clear coming back up. Now, one thing to note is that gum got really sticky. Um, it was heated up, it was under worse conditions than probably normal, but we were able to get it out with just a little bit of extra steam and a plastic razor and we scraped it on out. I mean, we literally worked on this about 10 minutes and got it all the way back to new. As you can see, there's really no job that we can't do as far as candy stuck in carpets. If you find yourself in a sticky mess like this one, head on over to easyndetail.com and schedule your full interior detail. Our detailers will be happy to steam and extract and do whatever is necessary to get all that candy and all that fun out of your carpets and get you back like new. That's going to do it for this week's episode of Shop Talk Tuesday, and I'll see you next week. Come on, peeps. Let's go for a ride. Man, we turned these peeps into whole chickens. Easter's almost as good as Mardi Gras. I don't, uh, what was it? Easter's is almost as good as Mardi Gras. But before I can show you how we clean that mess up, we gotta, we gotta make that mess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna You wanna hate I already hate chocolate. <laughs> It's been real, little bunny, but I'll see you next Easter.